days after General Pope's death. See what powerful Igbo politicians said about moving industry that sparked fear. Kenneth Okonkwo, a well-known politician in Nigeria and also a spokesperson for the Labour Party's Obidati's presidential campaign council, has expressed deep sorrow and condolences regarding the untimely death of Junior Pope, a Nigerian actor from Nollywood. The actor lost his life in a tragic boating accident in Anambra, which has not only left Okonkwo and many others in the industry devastated, but also raised concerns about the safety and welfare of performance within the entertainment industry. Okonkwo mourned the loss of Junior Pop not only as a gifted actor, but also as a responsible individual who deserved better treatment in an industry that often neglects the basic rights and safety of its contributors. Okonko's statement resonates with others in the industry who have been grappling with the precarious conditions and lack of protection over to those working in the entertainment sector. While expressing his grief, Ogonkwa raised some pressing questions about the circumstances surrounding the tragic incident, highlighting the absence of essential safety measures, such as the provision of life jacket and the deployment of trained rescue personnel during filming on water bodies. He also acknowledged the role of industry veterans, including himself, in an advertently perpetuating on safe practices and emphasized that such practices are no longer acceptable in the 21st century, given the advancement in resources and awareness available to ensure the safety and well-being well of all involved. Okoko called for strict measures to be implemented to hold producers and industry stakeholders accountable for creating hazardous working conditions. He emphasized the need for the collective action to prevent similar tragedies in the future, stating that no actor should ever be compelled to compromise the safety for the sake of film production. Okonkwo's words serve as a powerful call to, urgent, call to action, urging stakeholders to prioritize the safety and well-being of performance and to work collectively to prevent further tragedies from befalling those who dictate who dedicate their lives to the act of storytelling. Finally, Okonkwo extended his deepest condolences to Junior Pope's family, the broader Nollywood community, and all those who had the privilege of knowing and working alongside the late actor. Part of Okonkwa's post with us. John Paul Odomodo, also known as Junior Pope, the tragic and unfortunate person of this great personality and an actor has jolted everyone, but particularly myself. This is one condolence message that I am very unhappy and very bitter to make. Junior Pope was very cute, jovial, talented, easygoing, responsible young man with a dignified sense of humility and family life who does not deserve this kind of careless and reckless end from an industry that demands and extracts the best from actors and rewards them with negligence of their basic fundamental human rights to life. Why were life jacket not provided for actors riding on a boat? You know, I have been in deep sorrow. I have been in deep thought since this incident happened. I did not have the opportunity to meet him, but for what you could see online, he was somebody who was cooking for wala, cooking for, you know, cooking for drama, jeje lo lo lo, he's going his own jeje, face his family, face his work, hustling to make his daily 2k, like I don't understand, the more I think about it, the more I am saddened, the more I am, the grief is like, what is going on? Somebody just die, then use person life, use play, kalo kalo. First of all, we heard that he drowned. Secondly, they told us he was actually not dead. The morgue attendant 
The monastery attendant said he was still alive. And the two came to river for ritual purposes. Then later they took him to the hospital. The more I hear and think about the story, the more I'm asking myself, what the heck is going on? In this country, you are too careless. So this is not me crying out just for Junior Pope. There are many people who have died unavoidable deaths. As in, death will be seen in no supposed to. You know when they say avoidable death, death will be say <laughs> there was something that could be done. Why would hospital be the last result? Why will you be filming and you had to go on a body, on a water body? You had to cross a water body. There was no provision of life jackets. Okay, fine. There was no provision of let us say, okay, life jacket is no day for that place, which I am not even happy about. Secondly, when this happened, nobody was trained to perform CPR on this man. As in, in the whole of those that were going and witnessed this incident, there was nobody that could perform CPR. <sighs> and then... When he was still fighting for his life, the two came to perform ritual instead of rushing him to the hospital. And the hospital was a last resort. Water is not supposed to have been in his lungs for so long. Abroad, there are some basic lessons you're trained. What am I saying? You go sabi swing. You go don't learn on me. You don't have a choice. You go down Lena. Within one brain, you will know Sabi swim. Come for be able to water. Then you then you Sabi swim. Except that is your script. But normal, normal, you go learn how to swim. See, like I said, the more I think about this thing, the more I am actually very angry. For some, and the thing is, he had this knowledge. He had the feeling he was saying it on that last live. Uh, what's it called? On the video he took. He was saying it all. He kept saying it. And he kept repeating it. What is going on? Why have we decided to remain backward when the world is going forward? What will it take you when you're filming you, that a medical personnel that will administer common first aid treatments? Somebody choke, you know, what it happen if you did set somebody choke? What it happen if you did set somebody collapse? What it happen if you did set somebody won't drown for water? There is nobody to administer. There are supposed to be people who have this knowledge. In fact, if I continue to the talk, we know we'll come off of here. Once again, you raise a candle for someone who we're not supposed to raise a candle for. And we just hope that this sad and tragic incident. I hate to say, make others learn from this. Because this particular person was not even supposed to die. We raise a candle, not just for him, for those who have not even their body that yet to be found. May the family find the con consolation. I may just rest in perfect peace. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We so say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.